My name's James Fergus, and in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through a great chest and back superset session. Yeah. It's really good to do, especially if you train in a busy gym. Now, quite often in busy gyms, it's difficult to get on one piece of equipment, never mind two, if you want a superset. Supersetting is good because it causes a large stress on the body, releasing a lot of anabolic hormones. Also works because one's resting while the other one's working, and to use an American term, you get a lot of bang for your buck. So I'm going to show you three supersets that work well when training in a busy gym. So here we are, ready to do our first superset, which is incline dumbbell press, supersetted with single arm dumbbell row. I've done a couple of warm-up sets, which is why I'm a little bit out of breath. Obviously I want to get a pump on before I do the video because I don't want to look small, because everyone does, until they get a pump on. Here we go. Pop the bench up, roughly 45 degree angle. Studies have shown that a 45 degree angle causes the most upper pec activation, but you can have it a little bit less if you want, or more. We'll talk more about that in a sec. We're gonna go for a set eight to 10, with a four second down tempo. No rest at the bottom or the top. Yeah, boy. Keep the chest up, pull the shoulder blades together. It's a real tight base. Feel like you're pulling the dumbbells down and then squeezing the chest up, pushing the elbows together. Yeah! Nice! And then we put the bench down. And the great thing with this superset is you should be able to use the same dumbbells for both exercises. So you don't need lots of kit, you just need a bench. This is your area now, no one else's, unless you're with a training partner. Grab your dumbbell, make sure you keep your back nice and tight foot under the hip, rowing the dumbbell up, squeezing the elbow into the body. So you can vary the tempo for this one. I like to do a, a hold at the top because it creates a peak muscle contraction. Squeeze, get the most out of each rep. Feel a stretch at the bottom, take it for a full range, squeeze the top, two, one. Lower it down, controlled, the stretch. Squeeze the top. I find it more effective than just these. Yeah! Yeah! That you see people doing. There is a time and a place for that. But you won't always get the most out of the muscle. Then obviously swap arms. You would usually start with your non-dominant arm first, which would be my left arm, but I'm doing my right because it's obviously that side of the camera. And I'm not doing my little blooming rubbishy left arm, am I? Obviously gonna show you the right. But just for my benefit, I'm gonna have to do the left side. Feeling good. So if you're say very strong at the press, make it more difficult for yourself. So put it higher so that you can still use the same dumbbell. Likewise to make the row harder. As you saw me doing, you do a pause at the top. Now with these two exercises, I like to do a similar rep range. So I'm working with the same energy system and you can record your recovery time. But this is a superb A1, A2 to kick off the chest and back session. Oh, straight it's starting to come out. Yeah, boy. Here we are for the second pairing, which is bench press or guillotine press and bent over row. With this one, I'm gonna use a supinated palms up grip. You should be able to row the same weight as you can bench press, but a lot of people are imbalanced, so, uh, so that's not the case, but you wanna try and work on that. This is your workspace, it's very easy to change the weights quickly, no one's interfering, it's all good. For this video, I'm gonna use the guillotine grip, which is a wider grip, taking the bar to your neck, as opposed to traditional bench or mid chest. I wouldn't recommend doing this by yourself, ever, especially not in an empty PT studio, but, I'm gonna use a weight that I'm comfortable with, 60 kilos, as I am very strong, very strong. <laughs> gonna go for a set 10 to 12, the three second down tempo, with a one second pause at the bottom. Holding that stretch position makes the exercise a little bit more difficult, 10 to 15% more difficult, so that can have a, an effect on the weight, which can even up the press in the row, so it might be a good thing. Also causes a little bit more damage to the muscle, which is good for growth. Just take a nice wide grip. Again, this would be much better to do with a partner. But I'm just going to do a few reps to show you taking it down to the neck, taking it down to the neck, stretch, squeeze. Three, two, one, hold, and squeeze. 
Nice. And then just shimmy under the bar. How about that for efficiency? And you can make me keep it going with a few shrugs, working those other traps, which I need to do. So I am. Nice. Ooh. What? Oh, so there we go. Guess you're breathing. Good bit of cardio. I don't really do cardio. This is my cardio. You want to try and keep a nice flat back, head tilted down to keep the spine aligned. You don't want to be too hyped up like this, looking at yourself in the mirror. Although obviously, sometimes looking at yourself in the mirror. If you're not stood in front of a mirror lifting, you can't see yourself. What's the point? Back on the rack, ready to go again. Now, one of my favorite chest exercises is the cable fly. Gives you a really good squeeze with that isometric hold. Again, creating a peak muscle contraction, really squeeze. Forces blood into the muscle, causing damage. Get a nice stretch. You can even hold the stretch. Like I said earlier, it can make the exercise harder, which is gooder. That's a real word in my head. Not that I need to show you how to do this, but there are many variations of hand position, high, medium cable. I like a high cable. Get a nice stretch, keep the hands high. Getting a good pull on the pec. Again, if you're near a mirror, you can see the striations, which I am. So yeah, boy. I should stop saying that. Stretch. Squeeze the palms, the hands together. Forcing blood into the pecs. Can even cross the hands, get even more squeeze. Beautiful. So now that the cable machine is ours, we're going to superset it with dual pulley pull down. So we've done a couple of horizontal rows with maybe a little bit of a shrug. Now we're going to do a, a vertical pull down. It's a really good one for getting a squeeze in your lats. Pull your shoulder blades together to get a really good squeeze between the shoulder blades. Pause at the bottom, control up. Again, this is an excellent superset because the handles are ours for the cable fly. We can go straight into the pull downs. Obviously, you want to change the weight. I imagine you could probably do a lot more for the pull downs than you can for the cable fly. Chest up, retract, squeeze. Retract, squeeze. So yeah, another excellent superset to do in a busy gym. Good little finisher, you can do a drop set on that as well. And maybe use some straps for the pull downs. You don't want your grip to be a limiting factor. Or it's quite a good forearm workout. So yeah, there we go. You decide the reps, the sets, recovery, the tempo. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or you can get hold of me through Instagram, which is James Fergus, but the S is a five. I know, very cool. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please like, share, subscribe and all that malarkey. Take it easy.